Hey there, Josh Stevens here, Head Geek at SolarWinds. Today we're going to talk a little bit about monitoring applications with NetFlow. Now as you know when you're thinking about how traffic flow technologies work, basically what NetFlow does is it runs on your routers and switches and keeps track of the traffic flowing from place to place. Now traditionally this is on layer 3 devices or traffic traversing layer 3 hops, but some newer devices, some of the new Cisco switches for instance, will also do it on layer 2 devices. And so when you're thinking about NetFlow, it's important to understand the types of data it can tell you. Now NetFlow can tell you the source and destination IP addresses, source and destination port numbers, the protocol types, the types of service, and things like that. However, what most people want to do with NetFlow is they actually want to monitor applications. And when you think about an application, it's more than just a port number or an IP address and a protocol. So when you think about applications like web traffic, you know, you really need to know a combination of the destination IP address and a port or a port range to be able to assign that. Now, in the case of an application like Microsoft Exchange, you might actually want to group several protocols and port types and addresses. Several addresses if you have a, a SQL Server cluster or server farm, and several port numbers if you want to group SMTP, POP3, and IMAP4 as a way of grouping that exchange traffic and maybe even OWA as well. So one of the things that the new Orion NetFlow Traffic Analyzer does is it makes it very easy to monitor uh, your traffic using NetFlow even when it's a complex application hosted across multiple port ranges or multiple IP addresses. And what you do is simply click on the NetFlow Settings button on the Orion NetFlow Traffic Analyzer and then go in and manage the applications and server service ports. Now as an example, we went ahead and populated this with one of the applications we use here in the office a lot which is Salesforce.com. And so when I think about Salesforce, this now allows me to group the IP addresses and all of the different uh, port, port ranges that I might be using for Salesforce and then assign those so when I go look at the website, I actually see that as one application. This might also apply when you're looking at address ranges for content delivery networks like YouTube or Amazon or even for Facebook and any of the websites that run across common port numbers. Also, if you have custom written applications uh, that may use a common port number for different applications depending upon the host, it's an easy way to assign that and make it very easy again within the Orion NetFlow Traffic Analyzer to see the full details of the application, not just by port number, but by actual application name. Again, it's Josh Stevens here, Head Geek at SolarWinds, talking about how to analyze traffic and applications with the Orion NetFlow Traffic Analyzer. Remember, you can always go to SolarWinds.com to download free copies of all of our software to try them out, and of course, download the free tools to use as long as you'd like. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.